All right. This technique, very easy, fighting position. I'm going to jab, cross. Make sure that my hands come back where? Back to my face. Jab, cross. As I'm jabbing, my shoulder will come up and cover, will cover my cheek. As I cross, same thing, my shoulder comes up, covers my cheek. My arm comes back quick. My elbow stays down, my hand stays up, my shoulders are up, my chin is tucked. Now, if I'm out here, I can do whatever I want. I can fight him like this, because he can't hit me. But once I get in range where he can possibly hit me, my hands come up in the correct position, my elbows drop down to the correct position, I'm on my, the balls of my feet, not on my tiptoes, but on the balls of my feet, and I'm ready to spring forward, backward, or to the side. So I'm going to step in, jab, cross, my rear leg will do an outside crescent kick. He's just going to lean back. One more time. One, two, crescent kick. I'm going to touch the ground briefly on this side. I'm going to do a round kick to his body. One more time. One, two, crescent kick, round kick. I'll step to his outside, and I want to step out wide when I do this. After my round kick, I step way out. What this does is it forces him to change positions and follow me. So, one, two, three. Round, I'm sorry, round kick the other leg first. One, two, three. Round kick. Step out, round kick to the body, I'll sit down in front, and cross. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Got that? One more time, a little faster. 